we can crack the longevity code, stopping or even reversing aging, an expert's new book, Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To, says aging can be treated. Juju Chang, our good friend, is here with that. You have our attention, Juju. Absolutely. Well, it's intriguing. Well, imagine if we could all live happily and healthily into our hundreds, 120. Imagine being able to meet your great grandkids, no problem. Well, one Harvard geneticist believes that that's not only within our grasp scientifically, but there are things you can do today to begin to reverse your aging process. This is where we try to slow down brain aging. The mythical search for the fountain of youth is underway here at this Harvard Medical School lab. So this tells us which genes are being switched on. Renowned biologist and genetics researcher David Sinclair chronicling the secrets of how we age on a molecular level in his new book, Lifespan. If I took your blood right now, I could tell you how old you are biologically. Now that's a very accurate clock. Scary, right? Like the crystal ball you don't want to look into. But here's the exciting thing. Now that we have this clock of age, we can ask what accelerates it and what slows it down and what reverses it. Literally turn that clock backwards by a lot. Decades worth of research suggests turning back the hands of time involves putting the body under stress with high intensity interval training, cold exposure, or calorie reduction diets like intermittent fasting. What we've been working on in this lab for the last 20 years is that these diets are putting us into a state of biological stress. The body gets shocked. It thinks that times are bad and it might not survive. So it fights back with everything it's got fights against heart disease. Imagine 40,000 years ago, we're running away from wild animals. These days we get on a treadmill, but it's the same thing. It tells your body that there's a danger, that there's a threat to your survival. But Sinclair notes the next anti-aging frontier may involve chemically boosting the body on a cellular level with medicines and supplements to treat aging as if it were a disease. He says it's already showing promise in labs. Medical history is littered with solutions that work in mice that don't translate to humans. Well, yeah, that's fair. Uh, mice are a lot easier to cure of diseases and aging than humans, of course. And yet 10, 20, 30 years ago, the idea of taking a pill as a fountain of youth seemed like science fiction. It still seems like science fiction to most people who haven't thought about it. And that's why I wrote the book, to explain how there's 20, 30 years of world-class science around the world. Uh, we get together every few months and talk about this. Uh, that shows that you can quite dramatically slow down aging um, and even more recently, we found that you can reverse the clock, not, not just in mice, but possibly even in people. And we should note that researchers are currently investigating an anti-diabetes drug, metformin, as the first anti-aging drug. And in his book, David Sinclair is fully transparent about his diet and exercise routine, what he takes every day as part of his anti-aging regimen. But he's quick to point out that he's a scientist and not an MD, so right. he never specifically recommends stuff. And he's 50. Uh-huh. Quite really? the poster child. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Who knew the Fountain of Youth would be at a laboratory? Oh, if we can turn back time. Okay, and we, we have to um, comfort Juju because her oldest just went off to college. Oh, Talk about age. I know. Talk about getting I time moving on. I need a little love. <laughs> I know. And a little comforting. Mm, I'm two years behind you. Yeah. Oh, I know. No.